It's right low. I'm with the neighborhood in the hood. Come check the shit out. You can still build this shit. I used to live here on the young nigga side, you know. Like, all this shit was really. It was. It used to be a couple of little tenants that used to stay in. It never used to look like this, though. Like, shit really look crazy, you know, though. All type of little shit. Cash block. <laughs> 114th, all that. All that shit. I used to stay in these ones right here. My cousin used to stay next door to well, uh, his daddy had that bitch. But yeah, I used to stay right here in these ones. Bathroom right here. My mama room was right here. This is the living room and shit. Or everything. This shit look Crazy, you know, I remember one day, me, Pig, and Box, all my cousins, my sisters and shit, out here chilling one day. And um, Big Dead, they used to stay across the street. R.P. Big Dead, you know. And the police had wound up coming, and everybody had ran, so, you know. Police had came through the smoke bomb through the window right here though. Through the smoke bomb through the window. That bitch look crazy, no. I'm just telling you how it is. Ain't no beds, we sleep on floors. There ain't no matches where I live. A lot of niggas switched up on me. I'm trying to tell you how it is. A lot of bitches, they be phony. They right, tell them. Right, so I always wanted to know. What does Pig Ave actually stand for? Pig Ave stand for. It's really honored that my nigga Pig, you know, he died 2014. Um, to an home invasion. So, you know, we just dedicated that name to, you know, like Pig Ave. That's what we stand for. And then my nigga Pig and Juju, Big Dev, you know, they just stay right here. <laughs> no cap. Like I tell Smith, don't tell me. They've been hanging since back when. Let me tell you about them trenches. Man, them niggas ain't your friends. How the fuck you stab me in my back? I thought you was my man. Shit, 18. I got threw up in that jam. Black 19, jam. Five, my mama couldn't even hold on. You gotta just be on your peas. For real. We on the seven though right now. You know. It's another day in the ghetto, man. Shit, every day. Real live trenches. <laughs> Shit, every day though. Oh, like oh I did for it. What you know? Hello. It's out. But uh, here we are. Type of love. Uh, cool shit, you know. Come around this motherfucker. You gotta be careful around this bitch, bro. Like, like people like me, like the outside audience who don't really know you, you know what you've been through, where you grew up at. I just always wanted to know, like, how was it growing up around here? It was cool for real. Like, it wasn't really too much going on. Like, no extra <laughs> like that. Like, it was a cool ass neighborhood. Like, hella people, you know, outside every day. Hella neighbors, you know, like sometimes you you be having neighbors, you don't be seeing people like these people outside every day, you know. Hello. How you doing? These people outside every day, you know. So it's just it was just fun growing up around here. Coming up. Show that. Or anything though. 
like I, I, I've been around this bitch for like mm, since I was like in the, in the fourth grade for real. Fourth grade on up, I had immune to this shit. I got a <laughs> immune to this motherfucker. This bitch is like everything to a nigga. What made you get into the rap shit? I had started rapping like I started rapping on, on the young nigga side though on the I was probably like I was probably like going to like I'm grade or some shit. I really like in the eighth like eighth grade summer. I used to be at my grandmother's house and shit. I used to um take the speaker so I had to take my cousin phone. I take the, the Bluetooth speaker, put it in the closet with me, set the phone on top of the speaker so you can hear the beat and me type shit. So I just be in the closet, I close the fucking door and get the rapping to the phone and shit. And um, I used to let my cousin hear that shit. Like I couldn't fuck up a word. You couldn't. You had to keep going, like, cause you know it wasn't like no mixing, no like no mixing, no shit. It was just straight phone work. So my that first, shit. my first mixtape, it was like, came my first mixtape, it was like. I was probably like in the um, 11 or some shit like that. It was called Strat or Out of Pig Gav. I had like I had like five, six songs on there. I had was just japped, doing shit. They was fucking with it though. No cap, they was fucking with it though. My teachers just used to play my songs in class. That shit used to be funny as fuck. Play this called song called Chicken Chicken. I had made. So I ain't um, really the type of nigga to just go to the booth like every day though or. Or no shit like that. Like, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a once every two, you know, two months or some shit like that. Like, I really don't be that consistent as I need to be. Though. I really do need to be consistent though. But your shit still be going crazy. Still be going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I up it like get back home. A mirrors with the strap on me. Since a young nigga, my mama know that I've been getting money. Since a young nigga, my mama told me that these niggas funny. I can't trust no bitch. I can tell that all these hoes fucking shopping for the pigs. You know I'm trying to cop me a whole dozen. Goofy had tried try me like take these. You can hold something. Every day on the young nigga side, you know, like, just be at this bitch chilling. This ain't even where niggas used to be at. We really used to be on the other side. But you know how that shit go. Well. I probably really came too late. I'm about to see if this bitch still love it. I don't know. Some shit like that. This bitch. The school right here. Glenville High School. I ain't go there though, but. SRT like nigga freeze, you see me roll running. And I don't do no front, so I don't owe a nigga nothing. So like, what advice would you give to your past self? Like if you could talk to you from back in the day, right now, what would you tell him? Just stay focused, young. Like, you really should've, you know, stuck to that path and did something with yourself, you know. Should, you should have stayed away from a lot of niggas that you shouldn't have been around, and You know, should have stayed just on the humble, just always stay focused. Show that, show that. I know, you know how shit be growing up, you can reflect, and it's like... So. I see you niggas in panic mode, that's why you niggas rushing. DM my hoe in vintage mode so she can't scratch out nothing. Stop saying that is beef, these pussy niggas ain't no nothing. We in the function, ain't no tussle, look bro got the button. Everything I say I got, nigga, I don't do the frame. They brag about a tenth, these niggas still ain't scoring. I probably had like. Probably had like 50 wins here. 50 enough. You feel me though? This uh You feel me? This wreck that we used to be at on the young nigga side. You no. Know, 
Glenville rack. It's the best rack ever, for real. And Cleveland. You know me, I caught like 50 wins on her. <laughs> Niggas know. <laughs> what you, what? You think it's sweet because I miss? Nigga. Come on, man. This ain't even, that's off the, huh. That's off the, not even trying, but no cap. This shit used to be so fun on the young, young side, cause there used to be so many of us. We really used to be in the park too back here. But you know how that shit be. A lot of niggas and switched up. A lot of niggas, done, you know, changed up. You know, I'm a, huh, huh, look at this. Just off the, come on, man. Nigga used to be nice on the court, though. No cap. Nigga used to be nice on the court. I really used to be, huh, him. No cap. Niggas be faking like they don't remember that shit. I don't know why. But, no cap, though. Um, this bitch right here, though, this. This is where a nigga reside. Right in. from the back, she tell me that she love me. I'm in your bitch right from the back, she tell me. Hey, I up it like get back, homie. A Amiri's with the strap on me. Since a young nigga, my to, uh, mama know that I... We used to have football practice right here in the field. Glenville Tar Blooders. I went to one football practice. I went to one football practice. That shit was not for me. I had was like, can't do this shit. I was tired as hell every day just. I went to one practice though, and it was just like, oh yeah, I'm done with this shit. I'm, I'm gone. Basketball only. Yeah. Basketball only. That's why I had to just hop in that gym. I could have really made it though. No cap. I ain't really went on that school shit though. I really could have made it though. Should have went to the uh, overseas or something. I was really that nice though. I could went overseas. But um, yeah, you know how this shit go. I'm really nice. This shit not even no effort though. You know, when I come in this bitch, I already know. Shit, feel like home. Shit, feel like home. It, it used to have the King James shit on the court everywhere. Niggas used to say LeBron James designed this bitch. I don't know if that's really true, but I never seen, I never seen him post it. So, take y'all right here outside though. Show y'all. How we used to bump. Since a young nigga, my mama told me that these niggas funny. I can't trust no bitch. I can tell that all these hoes fucking shopping for the pigs. You know I'm trying to cop me a whole dozen. Goofy had try me like take these. You got anything new coming out? Like new music, videos? Yeah, I got. I got a little EP, me, and my nigga Blood, LTB Pedro. Um, we gonna do some. We been, we got like. We got like three, four songs right now. You know, we about to go ahead and push that out. Then I'm just come right on my own shit, you know, just drop my own shit. It's about that time anyway. I can just go ahead and drop a little EP. I just keep dropping singles and shit. So now I'm gonna just drop this little EP right quick. Call my nigga Sean Kingston right quick. See what he on. Um, Walk one. What's up, gang? Chill. You still come? You still coming out here? Yeah, I'm gonna be out there in uh, two days. You cool? <laughs> it's on, my nigga. All right, I love you too. All right, bet. Alright. Real ties. I got real ties. But you know. I've been immune to this shit since I, I was. Ain't gotta put on no image, Pardon. bitches know I'm now. Hey. See when I ride ride with this Drake, just know the fully attached. How the fuck you tryna beef little nigga you don't even own the strap?
almost crazy because earlier, you know, we walking through, you was able to FaceTime Sean Kingston. How you meet Sean Kingston? I actually met Sean Kingston in the hood. Um, he pulled up, you know, he was on some cool shit. He wasn't no, on no cool ass industry shit. He was cool as fuck. He was talking to me and shit. He was just basically on some, he liked the nigga vibe, you know. So I had, let you know I had rap. Ooh. And he was fucking with me every since. Like, we been locked. He had a um, he had a show down here. Invited me to the show, had me backstage, you know, shit like that. Yeah, that's that's fire. Not too many, not too many people meet to get to meet industry people. Nah, Anybody for real. Famous. So for real though. The fact that you were able to just call and check in, that's that's fire, bro. So. My mind racing, I'm stacking money, I'm seeing faces daily. How the fuck you claim you blood and niggas try to face me? And I know money don't bring happiness, so don't try to bait me. And I live a rock star lifestyle, they look at me crazy. My little brother got here with 15. I think Somebody who influenced you to do anything or to make something better? Um, uh, shit. My mama, like, for real, she really, like, she be on my ass about shit. It making me look at shit different, you know? It made me want to get this shit right. Like, even though I ain't never had no job or nothing like that, that's one thing she always was telling me to do, like, you feel me, that was going to better my life. She wanted me to go to school, just do positive shit with my life. So when I do the shit I, I do do, you know, she be telling me, like, go ahead, you know, keep going with that shit, you know. Whatever you doing, make sure you just you do it, do it the right way. You know, she find out I'm doing some new shit. Yeah, go ahead and push the metal on that bitch. So, you know, that's all I do. How do you approach writing lyrics? Like, I know some some artists punch in, some write. How you go about it? For real, like, niggas don't even be writing, though. Like, I be freestyling, like, I freestyle probably damn near half my song. My niggas be helping me, too, though. I ain't gonna lie. My niggas be helping me sometimes with some little shit. Like, they give me a line or two, like, that's why I be needing them niggas with me, you know, when I go to that stool. I be needing my niggas, cause they, that's that, that's that other mind, you know? And these my niggas, we be with each other so they know what's going on. So, I done got a couple lyrics from, you know, the homies. So I really don't even be writing shit though, but when I do write, or try to write, I try to just chew some gum or something, you know, chew some gum, drink the water, I don't know, get your shit running, so. That's all I be thinking about. When I was in school and shit, they used to be like, we used to be taking our test shades to give us no mints and shit. Talk about some, yeah, this is gonna make y'all think. Like, man, yeah, all right. So I started chewing gum. So it's just making me think, you know, just try to think of some shit. I just wanted to know, like, what's the meaning behind your latest song or album? Like, what's the meaning behind? How it is, like, you feel me? How it is, it was just, that was just on some freestyle shit for real, you know? Leaving the studio, me and my niggas on some, let's just try this, you feel me, right here. It was a little melody, little song, so we just on some, let's just see how this, you feel me, this shit gonna turn out. I hop on that bitch, so heard the beat. It just made me get to think about how shit, how shit was at the time, or how shit is. So, you know, I, Huh, I'm a mill to the trench. This, this is where my heart is. is. I've been at it since a kid. I'm just tell you how it is. Ain't no beds to sleep on floors. Ain't no matches where I live. A lot of niggas switched up on me. I'm trying to tell you how it is. A lot of bitches. Like, I never really did much like that. And everybody was fucking with it. Like, niggas was telling me, like, you need to start rapping like this, man. Like, you know? So I tried a couple times the other day. You know, I got a couple more songs like that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all. So yeah, you talk about V a lot. Can you explain who V is and what they mean to you and also, you know, what happened to you? Um, V, that's my sister, you know, like, it be feeling crazy when like, you lose a sister, you know, shit like that. But, she, I, V got, she got killed in um, 2019. She had, was, um, had an incident on the freeway. 
she got threw out the car, you know. It was just, it was just, it was crazy, man. So you know, like having to deal with that. At, I was probably like a fresh 18, just graduating high school. You know, losing my sister to some fraud shit like that. It just make you just think of shit different, like. I always be thinking about that little situation. It's just crazy how that shit happened, you know? She probably called me about like, I want to say like a week. Talked to her like a week before that shit, you know? And to, you know, I had, was at Best Buy and my mama, I came home and shit, my mama like, damn, like, you heard something about, you know, V being in an accident? I'm like, no, I, I ain't heard nothing about that, you know? She like, well, that's what people saying, you know, they they saying she was in an accident, you know? So I'm on some shit. I go on Instagram. I'm calling the phone, not even answering, but, you know, I'm a catcher on Instagram. So I try to go on Instagram and just, you know, DM her video call on there, it wasn't working. So I had made a post, you know? V, wherever you at, you know, you better be cool. And um, probably like 10 minutes later, my mom and them, I got my mom, they went rushing, you know, up to the hospital. So, you know, <clears throat> we, we, you know, they discovered it. it was my sister and stuff. And like, it was just crazy, like, that shit was just crazy, just finding out that it wasn't, you know, it wasn't fake or anything like damn, that. Black 19, damn, fly my mama, couldn't even hold my hand. October 21st, 2019, I lost my twin. A couple years down, I fuck around and lost my man. 17 forever, I'm gonna stick right to that plan. How the fuck you say forever if you ain't rock out to the end? Like, rock out with them feet. That studio session working with Baby Money? How was that? Like, how was that for you? That's fire. Yeah, that was lost cool ass nigga. <laughs> He um he did <laughs> he done want me to uh <coughs> he done make me want to just make it down there. He <coughs> soon as we got to the studio, he bought all of us some food, <laughs> all type of shit, just looking out for niggas. He had um hopped on the open verse I had, so you know, knocked that bitch out for me. He played all his little unreleased music, you know, shit for us. He cool as fuck. Those are cool niggas. So y'all got a track together and everything? Oh yeah, we got a song too. It's gonna come out. Um, it'll come out real soon. Oh yeah, show that, show that. You gotta know I pay for keep shit. I'm getting niggas way. You wanna go against me, nigga? Don't make me catch no hat. I'm tired of niggas faking lying, then they fucking rap. It's Raylo. I work neighborhood in the hood, as you can see. You know, checking out. I'll catch y'all next time. Say how the fuck is you gonna slide me out? Bitch, I'm 22 and I ain't never seen no drought. Say, why the fuck you say my name? What you trying to get some clout? Shit, pop out quick, up that blick, we axing niggas out. Yeah, hey, yeah, forever 17. Forever. Send a nigga right up top for disrespecting Dre.